for more than three hours last night, there is a very high chance that you sleep. And while we know why we sleep, we have no idea why we sleep. So on average, teen are, teens are supposed to sleep about eight to nine hours, and adults are supposed to sleep for about seven to eight hours. And during a typical, typical eight-hour sleep period, you go through the sleep cycle a few times, and this has four non-REM stages and one REM stage, which is rapid eye movement. Stage one is when you fall asleep. Stage two is when you're in light sleep, your heart rate lowers, as well as your blood pressure and body temperature. And that leads you into your deep sleep, which is stages three and four, um, also known as delta sleep or slow wave sleep. And this is when your metabolism is also really low, your heart rate is still low, and um, your body's completely relaxed. You'll also have any nightmares, night terrors, or sleepwalking in these stages. And um, those four stages all together last for about 90 minutes to two hours, and then you enter your REM sleep. This is when <coughs> you have your vivid dreams. Your brain is much more active during REM sleep, and if compared to your brain when it, it's awake, um, it can almost be like identical, like the scan line. And um, it's believed that your brain is as active because your prefrontal cortex is analyzing events that you faced the day before. So your brain is deciding what is like important to keep, what information can be discarded. Um, some theories about dreaming, dreaming by Sigmund Freud is that our dreams are an expression of what we're repressing during the time we're awake. While Carl Jung believes that dreams provide messages that are, um, are about lost and neglected parts of ourselves that need to be kind of reintroduced to our brain. But it is known that all our dreams contain information that we've seen or heard about. So you're not going to see someone in your dream that you haven't seen before. Um, they might be from like an ad in a magazine if you don't recognize them. So there are a lot of common dreams that people report having, and I'm just going to go through a few of them. Being lost in track often means that you're trying to find a way out of some sort of conflict, um, or it means that you're unable to make a choice easily in some aspect. Missing a boat or plane often means that you may just be anxious about a trip or event you're going to go to, or <coughs> you're stressing about an, um, kind of just like, or you know, you've missed an opportunity in some way. Failing a test can just be test anxiety in general, or it can um, be a feeling of a, like unsuccessfulness in some way. Ill or dying can be the dreamer or someone the dreamer knows, and that normally relates to being afraid of dying or having an injury of disease or in some way. Um, being chased normally means you feel threatened in some way, um, and missing in bad teeth normally has two different meanings. The first one has to do with your appearance, and because your teeth are kind of an important part of your facial features, if you lose it, you may feel um, like a lack of confidence in some way. And the other meaning is that you're losing something important to you, maybe like a position you hold. <coughs> and um, these are the two top ones. The first one kind of means that you're vulnerable in some way, if you've like revealed a secret or someone's found something out about you. And then the most popular dream reported having is falling or sinking. And this often means that you're having a lack of support in your life or you're insecure about something. <coughs> so there are a lot of theories to why we dream, but since we can't measure a dream or feel a dream in any way, 